I have to ask you your take on these recent policies that came out last week. How big of a deal are they? Um, I think in the early days, I mentioned piecemeal local policies wouldn't be working. So this time, I would say the policies last week, they're top down, they're central level, they're major, they're very targeted, and also they're very timely because that is just before the our traditional um, peak season. We call it golden September and the silver October. So I would think the policy is positive. We already see, I like, say, a surge in visitors in the show flat in the tier one cities. And we see some um, buying activities. So the question now is, how sustainable the buying interest will be and how long it will last. Is it enough to start looking into some of these property names now, especially in the high yield space? Uh, I think it's like if you look at the property space, more than 80, 90 percent of them are either in default or distress. So when you're looking at it, you need to be sure that the market is really bottom out. And now we are quite sure that the policy cycle probably has bottomed and we are waiting for the sentiment, the confidence to bottom out. So that is very, very important to drive sales. You know, a lot of the developers, they are doing their self-rescue process. And with the current funding circumstance, they, they can't only depend on a recovery of sales just from, like, say, last week's policy. So that is, is something we still need to watch out for. I wouldn't be like, say, I would say like, we, we do not give up hope, but we also have to um, do not hope too early too much. Shiway, you seen Country Garden make this, this payment. Okay, that perhaps is uh, also them sending a message that they are okay, I guess. But, you know, what's your reaction to them doing this and you know, looking at it from a wider credit analyst perspective? I say it's like, as what we mentioned, policy is positive, right? You want people to get into the market to buy. And so that is also we need to watch out the ending game of those like developers. I would call them in the ICU, right? So you do not like say you have the positive impact from the policy and the next day you have a major default. You all have some negative headlines to erode the, uh, the positive feeling. So that is something that's why I always say execution and the coordination among authorities and the market players are very important. So, Jive, this is not something which is going to be sorted out in a, in a year. It could be much longer than that. Uh, you know, how long do they unwind all this and uh, perhaps get back on their two feet? They'll probably never get back to the same kind of growth that they were having in the years before, will they? I would say a property market, like say, very high growth. It's not a normal thing, right? China came out from, like, say, the 80s, 90s, and the developed its uh, private property space. That is a kind of growth is expected together with the country's high economic growth. Going forward with China's economic and the demographic development, I would say a slower growth of property market that is expected, and with more deleveraged sector, deleveraged players, it is in term, it is indeed good for the long-term health of that sector. So I think slow growth is not a concern. It's a healthy and high quality growth that is more important to me as a credit analyst. Uh, Jiu Wei, then, yeah, yeah, obviously we got some incremental good news on Country Garden. I'm just wondering, what is your base case now? If you're already looking at some of the endings of some of these developers in the ICU, is default sort of your base case? Uh, I hope uh, they will be coming out from ICU to the normal world, not go to the mortuary. That is what I'm hoping <laughs> for. And that is my base case. <laughs>